So as we wind down here, Elimination Chamber predictions, we'll make this quick here. Uh, there's not a lot of matches anyway, but some of these are pretty clear cut. Uh, Perth, Australia, Saturday, airing at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Don't know if I'll be catching this one live, but um, I'll be avoiding spoilers until I do. Grayson Waller effect is happening on the show. Great for Grayson. Bronson Reed is not on the show, which makes no fucking sense. I complained about that last week, as did you. Uh, but the Grayson Waller effect is happening with Cody Rhodes and Rollins. We literally just got the Grayson Waller effect on the, what was it, Fastlane payback show back in the fall. This is the exact same thing with Cody Rhodes on a PLE, no less. Um, do Rock and Roman show up here? What are you expecting out of this segment? I feel like we'll, I feel like if anything we'll get like the fi- like the official sign of solidarity between yeah. Rollins and, yeah. and uh, Rhodes. I don't know if like Theory comes on, they just beat his ass or or something like that, or they beat up him and Waller. But uh, I think this like they kind of tease like to hit Rollins like I'm here for you. They did it on Raw again, like yeah, and it was just in the medical room, but never got like actual words. So I think this is where we finally get like they're 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 together. Yeah, actually, that's a great point. I think they could. I know Rollins isn't cleared. I would assume as of not right now, um, but they can have Cody and Rollins get the better of Grayson Waller in theory, and then they can build to a tag team match before Mania if they end up dooming Cody and Rollins against Rock and Roman. So I don't think Rock and Roman show up here. If they were, they probably would have advertised them, and they still could, but they probably won't. Um, I think that's probably what happens here. Undisputed WWE Tag Team Titles, Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day taking on Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. Do we get a title change here, or is it pretty safe to say that Finn Balor and Damian are retaining? This is a tough one, honestly. I feel like the Judgment Day have cooled off a ton. Um, I feel like Rhea's kind of in her own stratosphere, and they're kind of dealing with the whole R-Truth stuff. Um, and I feel like Bruce, like, they're not... Australian, but you know, British, similar kind of descent. Sure. Um, that's a good. I, I'll I'll stick with the Judgment Day, but I wouldn't be shocked if Bate and Dunn won maybe like some kind of R Truth interference cost on the belt. Mm-hmm. But um, I'll stick with Priest and Balor. I could see a potential title change here. I think they're going to stick with Judgment Day just because I think the end game to all of this is Balor and Priest against Awesome Truth because I don't know really how else you pay off the R-Truth thing. And I mean, yeah, he can cost them the belts, but I think it'd be more satisfying if he were to not face Damian one-on-one, but to win the tag. I mean, it's literally the bloodline thing with Sammy from last year. I get it, but I feel like that'd be a satisfying payoff. So I think uh, Judgment Day retain, Awesome Truth win the belts at Mania. Women's World Championship, Aussie native herself, Rhea Ripley. Nia Jax was actually born in Australia, too. I don't know how many people are going to know or care about that or cheer her there. Probably not. She will get monster heat, though. I don't know how great the match is going to be, but I think it's pretty set in stone Rhea retains here, as she should. Yeah, I think Rhea retains. I like on Raw. They did a good job kind of not putting it in doubt, but uh, Nia basically came laid out all the, the girls in the Elimination Chamber match, I guess they all kind of were basically overshadowing her, came out, flattened them all, they said gave the casual, oh, now you might have a chance, Rhea, Rhea's beating her, so mm-hmm. um, Rhea wins here, and Nia faces Jade at WrestleMania. You mentioned it right there, and I think so as well. I think Nia and Jade is a pretty likely option. Uh, you mentioned it right there that the women's chamber match with the winner earning a world women's championship opportunity at the pay-per-view. Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Bianca Miller, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, and Raquel Rodriguez, who returned on Raw. Pretty stacked matchup. Again, is it Becky here, or do they swerve us with a Liv or a Bianca win? Uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's Becky. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe they do some kind of screwy finish that like Becky and Liv both win. Maybe it's like a tap out, pin, same situation. Because I feel like Liv deserves to be on the card. If she's not in the match, I don't really know what else you do with her. But they like, doing like the whole Liv Morgan revenge thing, revenge tour. I feel like that's more than just a battle royal match. So, mm-hmm. like I said, I think they could maybe do something that maybe. Lives pinning Becky and like as they count three, she's tapping out. They just do like a draw. Like yeah, I don't know. I feel like I want to see Rhea and Becky one on one, but I feel like Liv kind of deserves it. And the way that they're kind of pushing her right now on Raw seems like she should be involved in something big. The SmackDown girls, I think they'll face each other just one on one at WrestleMania. Um, yeah, Naomi, she'll be in the Battle Royal and. Ra- Raquel just came back, so who really knows what they do with her? But I'll go with Becky, but I wouldn't be surprised they do some kind of like double pin tapped out kind of thing because I think Liv deserves it. I prefer that. I'd rather they do that than Liv and Raquel on that like dumb Mania showcase match again. Like that's a fucking waste. So no, I would rather see that. I don't. I don't have high hopes. I think Becky wins decisively, but if they were to do something 
with Liv and Lynch to set up uh, Triple Threat of Mania. Fine by me. Last match here, World Heavyweight Championship, number one contenders, Elimination Chamber, McIntyre, Orton, Lashley, Knight, Paul, and Kevin Owens. Uh, again, same thing. McIntyre, obvious option, or do you throw a curveball with Orton or someone else? Drew, LOL. Drew, LOL. Hey, in, in a good way, though. Drew wins, LOL. In a good way, yeah. In a good way. I think, I mean, if I was betting my whole life savings, it'd be on Drew. I, I just... He's the only one. I'm pretty sure he's the only one on Raw in the match. Yes, yeah. The all directions are pointing to him winning. I guess you could swear people, but at this point, I think Drew makes the most sense. I don't know how you have him beat Cody and then lose to you know lose the Chamber match. He has to win the Chamber at that point. You just don't have him beat Cody for nothing, you know. No, I agree. Yeah, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to the match. I think it's a pretty predictable card. Could end up being a pretty enjoyable uh, enjoyable event on Saturday. We'll break it down here on the show next Thursday. 